This new tool in Canvas is life-changing. Hey guys, it's Lauren. Welcome back to my channel. I am now in my new-ish studio. Can you tell a difference? I don't I don't know. I think I did a pretty good job of mimicking uh, the last one. Uh, so yeah, so this is my, my new studio. I've officially moved and I'm so excited to be showing you guys this amazing lucid whiteboard in Canvas. There's two ways to use it. You can create pages that are collaborative and then also you can create assignments which are like independent for students. So let's get into the video and I just, I'm so excited. Let's just get started. All right. So we are going to add Lucid into our Canvas course. It's actually currently already added, but we're going to go find it. So to do that, we're going to enter into a Canvas course. I just have this little demo course that I've named Lucid here, and I'm going to click it. And then in my course navigation bar, I'm going to find Lucid. So you can see mine is close to the bottom, Lucid whiteboard. When I click on this here, it will load this page where you will set up your Lucid account. So let's say explore Lucid, you'll click here and you'll go set up your account. Before I click this, now for whatever reason, if you do not have this in your Canvas course, that means your admin has turned it off. So they probably don't want me to show you this, but in the admin side of things, you'll enter the sub account and then you're gonna scroll to developer keys. When you load developer keys, you'll go to inherited ones. And then the easiest way I can do this is show all the keys that you have available. And then I am just going to do command F lucid and here it is and you'll see mine is turned on so there's a good chance if you can't find it in your course that means that this toggle is turned off so probably not the best thing to be showing you this because your admin may not want to turn it on but just in case you want to show how you can get this integrated or turned on into your canvas course that's how you would do it so let's go back okay so all i have to do is click explore lucid and now i am going to be taken to my account again if you have not created an account yet. It will walk you through all of the steps that you need to do in order to create your educator account. That is free. And here are all of my current boards that I have been using. So you can use plenty of templates within Lucid. You can view lots of templates. So if I click here, you'll see all the different types of templates that are available to me. But I also want to show you on the side here. So if I go back home, you'll see educational templates. This opens a new tab. And if you are, let's say, a K-12 educator and you select this, all of these K-12 work worksheets or whiteboards are going to appear for you, which is absolutely amazing. So let's click on like maybe elementary math. You can see it'll bring up some related ones. Let's say I want to use this one in my Canvas course. I'm going to select use this template and then it's going to essentially save it to my account back to that like homepage. So here it goes. So now I have access to this board, um, but now I want to place this. I want this to be usable within Canvas. So if I come back here, I hit refresh. Now I have it in my library, my personal Lucid library here for me to use and integrate into Canvas. So let's go place this board into Canvas now. So in Canvas now, I have just created a module with two example types. So even though I actually have assignment at the top, I'm going to start with a page because the steps are more simple when integrating a Lucid whiteboard. So I'm going to select this Canvas page and we're going to click edit. And then within my rich content editor, you will notice the Lucid icon. So I'm going to select this and a window is going to open. So you'll see it's going to ask you some questions. It won't do this for you every single time. Now you'll see my library of templates of Lucid whiteboard templates. So I have a few here. I am going to select that elementary one and you'll see once I select it, I can click continue. So now I have the option to allow users to edit this single board. I can allow students to comment or view only. Right now, since this is like an engaging board, I am going to allow them to edit it as a group. 
So we'll do insert and then next up what it'll do is it'll load this whiteboard onto a canvas page. It's loaded now this window of the whiteboard so students will be able to access this as a whole group and edit this together. So let me click save and we'll take a look at what this looks like as an actual page for your students to use. All right it is finally time to make myself smaller so you can get a better view of what this looks like. So here is the template. Um, so now what students will be able to do, we can actually make this a full screen here and we can start zooming into each activity. I can click and drag the items like so and place them into the appropriate place for shapes and things like that. So maybe, you know, I put that over there. So now your students can do this, which is awesome. You have the click and drag tool, right? You have your little text tool where you can type it. Doop, doop. So you gotta scroll in real good there and make the font a little bit bigger. I, I do really like the zoom in, zoom out feature. It makes each activity kind of fun. Uh, and then you also have, you can add little sticky notes. So this would be super great for like a, you know, a collaborative whiteboard project for sure. If you want different colors for each student to respond to maybe like a prompt on a sticky note, you have shapes, you have arrows where you can draw lines. So I can like point to the shape and make the line sticker in point value. So there it is. There's my little arrow. I can also add frames, paths, containers. There's so many options here. Um, and then also we can draw. There's endless possibilities with these templates and creating your own so much stuff, especially on a page. You can do so much collaborative stuff with your entire group of students. So one thing too I'll just add is if you come over to the little people icon, you might want to add show authors. So this allows you the instructor to see and view the names of each student who has authored or edited a sticky note. Some other really great things. So if I click the three dots here, you'll see I can add a timer to this whiteboard. I can also do a poll where I like do voting on this whiteboard. I can do private mode where I'll get to see the writing, but what they'll see is kind of hidden. There's so many cool things. Also, you can add comments to elements. You also have the ability to present this in front of your class. You can hit the presentation mode. And then also you'll see over here you have saving the automatic changes. You can also insert GIFs and images to whiteboards. Uh, this makes it even more engaging for our students. And again, you are in charge of what students have access to. So just keep that in mind. If you're giving them edit access, they can probably edit the entire document. That is essentially it for the page version of Lucid. Let's take a look now at the same, we'll just use the same template whiteboard, but this time we'll look at it for an assignment. Okay, so to make this a Lucid assignment, we're going to click edit and scroll down to the submission type. This is the biggest difference between other assignment types. So we'll go from no submission to not external tool this time, but Lucid specifically. When you click on the little Lucid button, again, your little window of all of your templates will appear. I am just going to do the Lucid Park. We'll click next and then we're going to go to my documents. We'll select the elementary math shape sort. <laughs> oh my gosh, why was that so hard to say? Okay, select that and now this is going to be for a grade. So on the teacher side of things, you will get to see um, a preview of what it looks like, which is somewhat of a downer because you can't see like the entire thing in Canvas. But let me show you how amazing amazing this is on the student side. All right, so I am now in a student account. Unfortunately, you cannot view Lucid through student view, so I had to add a fake student account uh, to this course, which is totally fine. But you'll notice that I am going to sign up to Lucid uh, and go through all of these steps. And then it's gonna basically sync to whichever email account is aligned with my Canvas course. And then I can just click get started, grant access, just like you would with like Google. 
Google. Um, and then once we have given access, it will start loading. And now I have this wonderful assignment that I'm going to click and drag as a student. This is my copy. You'll notice at the top it says complete individually, which is great. We are going to click and drag all of our little items, all of our shapes. Okay, so I am done with this worksheet. I've sorted all of my different shapes. And now all I have to do as a student, now that I am done, is click submit assignment. I can add a comment. I think you're a great teacher. And now it is submitting directly to the speed grader. So now on the teacher's end, when I go into the speed grader, it is going to load directly right here the worksheet for me, the teacher, to grade. Now, I didn't add a grade or a rubric or anything to this assignment, but I can see the comments here and I'm going to give them, since it's out of zero, I'm gonna give them a 10 bonus points for this student that they completed this assignment correctly. And that is essentially it with Lucid. There's so many endless possibilities in terms of like what types of whiteboards you can have, whether that being a page, which is more collaborative group work or a independent worksheet assignment within Canvas. Definitely believe this is a game changer for Canvas and I really hope you try this out. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed learning more about Lucid whiteboards in Canvas. If you have any questions, of course, feel free to leave a comment below. And I would greatly appreciate if you found this video helpful to like, and of course, subscribe to my channel. Stick around for a while for more Canvas Old Mess tips. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.